I'm Forrest Breifogel. I'm the CEO of Smarter Solutions. Uh, our main headquarters are in Austin, Texas. So uh, I've enjoyed uh, working with the Romanian group here. And we've talked about today the Integrated Enterprise Excellence Business Management System, where we've basically integrated predictive scorecards, strategic planning, and business improvement that positively impacts the business as a, the enterprise as a whole. Do you think that we are living still on a big planet? Well, I think we have to, we're living on the big planet. And so right now, uh, we're not, uh, don't just have competitors within the country, but it's competitors throughout the world. And I think that we need to understand that that's the reality. And so in order for countries to be competitive, in my mind, they need to have uh, policies that's going to drive the right kind of behaviors. You know, sometimes the taxing policies and uh, uh, rules and that can really go in and discourage uh, industries from being uh, competitive in their countries. Uh, in the United States, we have states that are competing against each other for uh, companies and stuff. And, you know, and also you have the outsourcing issues and so on. So we need to really look at it as a company and as a country for how we can better integrate this overall together. Uh, because sometimes we get great policies that can lead to unintended consequences that are not good for the country and the companies as well. I think what I was I'm describing is an overall system for going in and helping an organization improve the system. If you've got a leadership like Steve Jobs, you know, that's uh, somewhat of a dictator maybe, yeah. It, yeah. you might call him that, you can still have achieved success. But what I really want to do is create a long-lasting system so you don't have to have a dictator at the top going in and trying to determine what you actually ought to be doing to uh, improve you know, in, create high quality products. And so it's, it becomes more of a team effort on figuring out where we should be, should be focused on our efforts to improve. Why uh, did you call it integrated enterprise excellence? Well, I, I think excellence is an important word. And the other thing is I wanted to have it integrated. So I think that that's what often happens is we get into the mode that things get to be siloed. So we set up uh, measurement by objectives that are in certain areas of the business, but and we may have achieved success in those areas, but it didn't positively impact the business as a whole. Well, I think one of the things is each of the functions within an organization need to look at their value chain. So one of the important things is I want to go in and have my measurements uh, be in uh, monitored and that they're continually looking at what I could do to improvement and address it. But you also have to have the human side of it too so that uh, you just don't go in and uh, drive to the numbers but people enjoy where they're working and that they have a passion for what they're actually accomplishing because if you don't have that people can actually be leaving and people are disgruntled and that's not a very good environment to work in too. So what I like to do is blend analytics with the human side within an organization. So a lot of times what we look at within a, a manager is the soft side of it, uh, the team building and so on, which is important, but I also want to get the analytics blended in there with it also. Well, I think it's one, per, one thing that's very important to get the right people on the bus in the right seat because uh, not everybody can, uh, is, is good at all tasks. Not everybody is good at a brain surgery, you know, even though the process may be documented. So you, you need to go in and have uh, the right person in the bus in the right seat so that they're fitting real well within the overall organization for the particular tasks that they have to do. And I look at that as a, as a business uh, issue on making sure that that happens. And that's part of the challenges of actually uh, running a business. Your uh, advice today to the young managers and the managers in Romania, what was your advice? Well, I think one of the things is that we go in and have measurements that drive the right kind of behaviors. And one of the takeaways that I had or that I suggested was we start with what we do and how we measure what we do. And I, I look at it as a system for 
putting that all together. So uh, how you can create these predictive scorecards and not go in and have just uh, simple uh, red, yellow, green scorecards uh, drive into measurement by objective that can lead to the wrong behaviors. And then when you start analyzing this value chain and also the enterprise as a whole, you're going to figure out what you should do to actually improve. How you can describe what uh, happened today as a, as, a, as a whole event in the excellency and quality and performance here? Well, I think that one of the things I have to, uh, uh, I've learned over the years, not everybody's going to understand or get what I'm actually talking about. It's just no matter what country you're in. But what I'm really suggesting is a, a very big change on how people actually look at the business and measure uh, what they're actually doing. One of the things I talk about is with Lynn Lean Six Sigma and other process improvement efforts, the CEO didn't have to change their behaviors on how they looked at numbers. They still looked at a table of numbers or stack bar charts or whatever. What I'm suggesting that they need to go in and look at numbers differently as a system and process uh, uh, predictive scorecard system which I talked about today and basically if they don't like what they see they need to understand that we need to do something fundamentally different.